Good morning. Welcome to Congregation Beth Ahaba's High Holy Day Memorial Service at Hebrew Cemetery. I'm Rabbi Scott Nagel. This is Cantor Sarah Beck Berman. For today's service, we are going to be using this booklet, which was delivered to you in um, your High Holy Day bags, High Holy Day Memorial Service at Hebrew Cemetery. We begin on the very first page with the opening meditation. Eternal God, here in this place where my sense of mortality is so keen, help me to recognize the deeper meanings of my place in your universe. Cause me to see how vain are our strivings after wealth and power, how futile the struggles for recognition and acclaim for all our human frailties eventually resolved into dust. Nothing remains but sweet memories of deeds of kindness and words thoughtfully spoken. As you are eternal, O oh God, move me to recognize too the touch of eternity you placed within me. As the seasons come and go, as bleak winter gives way to the rebirth of spring, and from barren ground the green of vegetation emerges. So out of my physical and mortal being will the spirit you placed within me merge to everlasting life with you. Cherishing that faith, let me walk through life with hope and strength. At this most sacred season, when we pray for a year of life, health, and joy for ourselves, and our dear ones. When we pray for the well-being of our people and all humanity, our thoughts turn not only to the living, but also to the dead. The Jewish people do not forget their debt to past generations. That may account for their miraculous survival. Perhaps that is why Israel is eternal. A people that remembers their past their traditions, their ideals, and holds fast to them cannot die or vanish from off the face of the earth. We have come here today to pay our respects to those who, having finished their earthly course, now repose in this consecrated earth. Since last year, we observed that new graves and monuments have been added and that these have brought fresh sorrow and grief to more families. Here lies at rest an entire community of men, women, and children. Today, we recall the precious memory of our loved ones who were laid to their last rest in this spot or one just like it. May the inspiration of their life and labor ennoble our own efforts that we may always reflect honor upon them. We were blessed in them coming into our lives, so may we be blessed now and always. And let us say together, Amen. Amen. Psalm 121. <laughs> Alianum 
Adonai Shomrecha Adonai Tzilcha Liyad Yeminecha Yomam Hashemesh Lo Yakeka Beyare A song of ascents. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where will my help come? My help is from Adonai, maker of heaven and earth. God does not allow your foot to stumble. Your guardian does not slumber. Behold, the guardian of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Adonai is your God. Adonai is your shade at your right hand. By day the sun does not strike you, nor the moon by night. Adonai guards you from all harm, guards your life. Adonai guards your going and coming, now and forever. We continue with Psalm 90 responsively. Adonai, you have been our dwelling place in every generation. Before mountains were born, before you brought forth the earth, and the inhabited world, from forever to forever, you are God. You bring us to our limits, and you say, Return, O mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday gone, like a watch in the night. You engulf them with sleep. In the morning they are like grass that passes away. In the morning it blossoms and passes. By evening it withers and dies. For when we die, we carry nothing away. The days of our years, three score years and ten, are given strength four score years or more. But the best of those years have trouble and sorrow. They pass by quickly and carry us away. Teach us to number our days so that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return to us, O God, then truly shall we return. May the sweetness of Adonai, our God, be upon us, the work of our hands established, serving the memory of our dear departed. And let us say it together, Amen. Amen. We continue now with We Remember Them. <clears throat> at the rising of the sun and at its going down, we remember we them. Remember them. At the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we, we remember, remember them. them. At the opening of the buds and in the rebirth of spring, we, we remember, remember them. them. At the blueness of the skies and in the warmth of summer, we, we remember, remember them. them. At the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of the autumn, we, we remember, remember them. them. At the beginning of the year and when it ends, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we have decisions that are difficult to make, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we, we remember, remember them. them. When we have achievements that are based on theirs, we, we remember, remember them. them. For as long as we live, they too will live for they are now a part of us as, as we, we remember, remember them. them. Some of us gather here today to remember a beloved mother or father 
who gave us life and who, tending and guiding us, shaped our careers and influenced our characters. Some are here to recall a beloved wife or husband, recalling the love and friendship, faith and understanding, trials and griefs, fears and joys they shared in life together. Others are here to remember a brother or sister, remembering how together they grew up in happy fellowship, experiencing the adventures of childhood and youth. There are parents who come here to remember a child for whom they toiled and planned, yet who was taken from them in the freshness and vigor of youth. Others come here today to recall a dear one who, at the call of country, leaving behind all that was precious and dear, endured hardship, braved danger, and gave up life so that we may survive. We who survive may live on in freedom. The hearts of all of our loved ones beat no more. Their voices are stilled. Their smiles and self-effacing devotion are now but cherished memories. But they do live on in our hearts. I ask you now to share the name aloud of your loved one or loved ones whom today you are remembering. We remember them now. They live always in our hearts as we remember them. We rise now for El Malay Rachamim, our ancient memorial prayer. <laughs> Zohar Harakia Mazirim Lenishmot Yakireinu Shalehu Leolamam Begun Aiden Tehemenu Hatam Yastirim beseder kenafav leolamim Utror bitror hachayim et nishmatam Adonai unachalatam Veyanuchu Merciful God, God most high, let there be perfect rest for the souls of our loved ones who have gone into eternity. May they find shelter in your presence among the holy and pure, whose light shines like the radiance of heaven at the moment of creation. Compassionate God, hold them close to you forever. 
May their souls be bound up in the bond of life eternal. May they find a home in you, and may they rest in peace, as together we say, Amen. Amen. We remain standing as we turn now to the mourner's cottage. We pray that the memories of our loved ones continue to inspire and comfort us. We pray that their memories be a blessing for us now and always as we try to live as they themselves in their higher moments wish to live. We thank God for the time that we had with them and for all that was good and enduring in their lives. We give thanks in memory and in praise as we turn to the mourner's cottage together. It gadal v it kadash me raba, v'yamad yivrach hirute v'yamlik malchute, v'chayechon v'yomechon u'chaye dechor beit Yisrael, v'agala u'zman kariv imru amen. Yehesh me raba mevarach v'alam ulame al maya. It barach v'yish tabach v'it paar v'it romam v'it nase. Vit hadar, vit ale, vit halal, shmei de kudesha berichu. Leela min eela mikol berchata veshirata. Tush berchata venechemata. Dam iran be'alma v'imru amen. Yehei shalom araba min shemaya. Mechayim aleinu ve'okol Yisrael. V'imru amen. Osei shalom b'mroma. Who ya say shalom? Aleno will call Yisrael. We'll call Yoshvei Tevel. Vimru. Amen. May the source of peace bestow peace on all who mourn. And may we be a source of comfort to all who are bereaved. And let us say together. Amen. Amen. And we conclude our service today with Psalm 23, the Song of David. Mis morle David, Adonai roi lo echzar, Pinot de shenyar bitzeni, Al mei minuchot yena haleini. Nafshi shuvev, nafshi shuvev. Yon chini b'maglei tzedek l'man shemo gam ki. Die 
of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my life. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even when I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Let but goodness and kindness pursue me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for many long days. And let us say together, Amen. Amen. And as the cantor and I wish you Lashana Tova, a very happy new year, I want to remind you that our cemeteries are open during business hours for you to come visit on your own at any time that is comfortable for you. Please remember if there are other people here to maintain safe social distance and please wear a mask at all times while you're on the property. At the end of this High Holy Day Memorial Service booklet, you will not only find all of the prayers that we read today, but you'll also find additional readings to be said at the grave of a loved ones and some suggestions for observing the memorial at home. Even if you were unable to come to the cemetery this year, you can still remember and build up your loved one's memory as a blessing. Thank you all so much for joining us this morning. And again, Lashana Tova. Shana Tova.